Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection C, UCS 56, what is, P number, and, Group number. Our flagship course is Master Static Equipment Design, and PV Elite, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform on scutoid.thinkific.com. So, now, let us talk about the first one. You all might have seen that table. Okay, but before that, you always talk about whenever we categorize the material with P number and group number. You will see P number and group number coming. Why is that? First of all, why there is P number? Why we have P numbers? We have material specifications number, right? Why these P numbers are required? Why we need P numbers? How it's helping us? Parent number for welding to minimize required WPS. Absolutely right. So not same material, Akash, but you can call it as similar properties material, which we materials who are having similar welding properties. Okay. So P number, see, code what it says, whatever welding you are doing, it has to be qualified. Okay. You have to qualify the procedure. You have to qualify the welders. Okay. Then only you can weld on the job. So now if you start doing for each and every material and for each and every thickness, you can think of how much difficult and how much work will get added for us as a fabricator. Okay. So what code says you don't have to do it for each and every time for each material you don't have to do. So for that in section nine, there is group provided P number. So all the material with same P number, if any one of that you have qualified all the other material, you don't have to repeat that qualification. Same uh, WPS you can use for the other material also. Is it clear? So by clubbing lots of material, our work gets reduced, right? So that is the advantage we are getting. Is it making sense? For P number, I'll come to group number. So P number is clear. Why we have P number? Just say yes in the chat box if you are clear with that. Adnan is saying yes. Yes, great. Now, now the question. What is group number? Why we need group number then? So Akash is saying group number comes from impact requirement. What about others? Impact requirement, Jagdish. Okay. Anyone else? Impact requirement, Deepak. Absolutely right. Okay. So group number comes when there is impact requirement. Whenever impact requirement is not there, you don't need different group numbers. All the materials will be treated as same. All the different group numbers. Whenever there is impact requirement, there you have to do grouping of numbers there are different groups now why is that why for impact we are we have to do different grouping or why we are trying to if you see in terms of welding so when we qualify welding procedures there are yes absolutely right jack this there are some essential requirements and there are some supplementary essential, we call them essential variables and then supplementary essential variables. You don't need to remember as a, a static equipment design engineer or quality, but it's good to know thing, not need to know thing. Okay, but uh, yes, absolutely right, Pramin. Just refer QW422, you will get the different group numbers. And why it's coming? Because there are this essential variables also you will find there. What is the essential variable? What is the supplementary essential variable? So 
whenever impact is required then many supplementary essential variables which were there they become a essential variable okay and that will change depending upon the material so you need to have different groups need to be qualified separately for those okay so that is the reason for group numbers for impact we also need to see what is the group number okay so basically p number is similar weldability okay? to the purpose is to reduce the wps you know, qualification group number is additional number given further to the group and mainly to you know uh, take care of the impact testing requirement okay now another question okay you have different p numbers getting welded together how you will give that heat treatment cycle which cycle i'll follow whether i'll go for p number 5 or p number 1 if i am welding two different p numbers so akash is saying more stringent one we need to refer qw 283 stringent one great so yes for both you have to have buttering may not be required all the time from it it all depends you know like if i'm welding something which is not available with the other material then we need to perform buttering but for p number five and p number one you know, p number five is like two chrome moly and this is our carbon steel so we don't require carbon steel to low elastic if i welding we can weld it directly okay but then akash is absolutely that is the word which was used which is used by code you need to apply engineering judgment okay and this word is very dangerous you know because engineering judgment means you know you have to be expert of that field okay so as a static whenever this scenario come when we have different p numbers what we should do we should refer to the expert who is the expert of this field like if i have p numbers and you know different p number who is expert in this welding field in your organization welding engineer metallurgist right so we need to refer them okay so we have to go back to them and see what should i do okay ai will come very later okay first of all your you cannot directly go and ask ai that what i should do okay so you will need to have welding engineers who are actually metallurgist and they will guide you okay how you can do whether the buttering is required not required what heat treatment should be followed you know which one is critical which is not critical so what cycle should be followed all those things should come as a from the expert okay so but as a layman we can say that the stringent can be given but it's better to take the expert advice in this okay for in-depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description.